So I pulled the core out of the Weisler lock I got from uh, <clears throat> Habitat Humanities Restore and uh, figured I would give it a pick. The one thing I'm a little disappointed in though is that it appears to be a quick set lock. So we'll see. A little looser than I was hoping. That's too tight. Uh, it's a little better. So I'm going to bring my whole bag of uh, tension wrenches down here. It's going to have to do. And again, I'm going to focus on not giving it too much tension, although, like I mentioned in my last video, I did somehow lose the key to this before I left the store. Because of course I did. So let's give this a try. This is one of the Peterson Shrike picks. They're the handleless ones. They're still made from government steel. But they cost $4 as opposed to $8 for plastic handled government steel picks which only have the tip is made out of government steel and the full the rubberized handles which where the whole <clears throat> there's a full pick in there but they cost fifteen dollars a pop although the rubber handles are really nice I have two well I've got more than that but I got several of them when they were on sale for $10, which I think some of them still are because it's whoever they bought the handle parts from sent them some piece of junk and then went out of business. <laughs> so they figured they couldn't sell them for full price, which is good. But one of the picks I ordered did have what appeared to be one of the newer handles, even though I only paid ten bucks for it. So, I don't know. But yeah, if you want to try out some uh, Peterson picks, give these a try. They're all twenty-five thousandths, but they've got—I think they have ten now. They had. Pretty sure they had 12 originally, but not sure about that. But they appear to, I don't think I saw the beta tag on them last time I looked. And they're really nice picks. Especially if you don't mind not having a nice handle to hold on to. I think I want to get another full set of them to keep in the car. much tension there. Okay. Lighten up a little bit. Okay, one's super loose. I think it's set. If anything, I gotta keep it from being overset. Two, I'm getting nothing. Two is, I mean, two is completely loose. Three is definitely giving me some resistance. Oh, if you do buy Sun from Peterson, feel free to post a link to one of my to my to this video actually in the There's a comment section at the checkout cuz you have to get the Shrike picks from their website still, which is too bad because I believe Lockpick World has lower shipping rates, although you have to negotiate to get the price of the picks down to what they would be on Peterson's website, which is thinkpeterson.com. Okay, feels like everything is Maybe everything's set. Let's light this up. 
I'm using the lower setting on the light. Does that make it harder for people to see? Please let me know. I can turn it up a little bit brighter, but I'm not sure. That washes things out too much. It also really drains the battery in these and can get hot. <laughs> so, figured if I could see it just as well with this setting, that's probably what I'm going to do unless people have a reason for me to like, yeah, what you're going to tell me you can't see well enough. Well, that's too bad. Ugh. Well, that makes no sense at all. Okay, so I'm assuming the first pin must be tiny. Because when I let off a little bit of tension, I think it dropped down. And it is just... Because it was overset, it's got to be a very small pin. So let's take a look at it. Because, when, again, when I let off, I was over-tensioning it, and when I let it off, the front pin appeared to be the only one that dropped a little, and it opened right up. So, again, I need to work on not over-tensioning my picks. Over-tensioning my locks, I mean. The uh, shim I've been using regularly over there. I don't want to lose. Find the case for the pick I don't want to lose. I'm a popular guy, considering I've gotten one message the entire time I've been making this video. Get the spring here. Don't lose that. Attach it to the pin. Grab the cardboard I'm using. Okay, two messages while I'm making the video. Interesting. I'm going to have to send a link to this to uh, whoever's doing that. Assuming it's the person I think it is, because I did warn them I was going to be making a video. <laughs> Won't they be embarrassed? No, I hope not. Actually, I really do hope. I'm just joking around. Trying to have some fun. After all, this is what I do to relax. Well, very happy. It seemed to help quite a bit with my headache last night. Let's turn this 90 degrees. Carefully push this out. So yeah, we got five pins. All gonna be the same. So they're all gonna be standard. I'm assuming. The main thing I want to see is just how small the first one is. Yeah, that is tiny. Okay. So is the. Is that a stem? Might be. A no, it's a different color. Fourth print's pretty small, but not as small. And we have the tallest pin in the fifth slot. As you can see, like I was saying, this one is tiny. I do like the pin shapes, though. They don't have... 
they're pointy on one side, flat on another. Just something I keep talking about, even though apparently most of the locks I'm seeing now are like that. Okay, let's snag out the top pins just because I feel like. I think I'll repin this one since I don't have a key for it anyway. Do something kind of random with it. Is that the front of the lock? Yeah, that's the front. Fortunately enough, that's got a little mark on it. No, it's not. That is not the front of the lock. This is the back of the lock. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Push that piece up against. Yeah, no, that's the front. That is the front. I'm not used to using a actual follower for opening, for gutting. I don't think gutting kick cylinders. First three of it's standard. I will be very surprised if any of them are not. Where's the next? Yep, all standard on top. So. Have to monkey around with this, see if I can make it at least a little bit harder to pick. And, uh, you know, ship it out to someone. Okay. Thanks, folks. Hope this was enjoyable. Have a good day. Bye.